I thought we would do the following things, provided we have enough time for all of it. I have a can, hermetically sealed can, uh, that I brought with me today. And what I'm going to do is there, um, anyone who feels comfortable enough, eventually we will use a dangerous instrumentality. And so is there anyone who feels comfortable enough? Ultimately, very good. Thank you. I will bring this up to you. And I will just ask you to hold on to these and please keep these under your careful observation the entire time so that you know that I cannot uh, access inside of that. I will rely on you to access the can. And um, I also have a book that I brought with me that we even mentioned in class, um, The Dream of the Accused. And is anyone in here today feeling comfortable with his or her vision, not having overly studied so they feel their vision is blurred? Are they comfortable with it that you'd like to uh, utilize this as, ah, very good. I will bring this to the back of the room. And I'm going to ask you please just to hold on to the book. Yeah, thank you. Excellent, thank you. And I'll have you please hold on to the book. And I am going to ask if you can tell us, please, how many uh, pages there are in that book? 199. 199. Um, were we to say 200, however, we know there are only 199. Were we to say 200, there are approximately uh, 200 to 300 words per page in a standard galley proof in a, in a paperback book of that size. So if we say there's 200 pages of approximately 300 words per page, that would give us approximately 60,000 words. Now, I'm going to ask, if I may, um, yes, from 1 to 199, what page would you like for us to use? Yes, yes, yes. 47? Okay, please, I'm going to ask you to turn to page 47. And I'm going to ask you, if you will, to please, uh, first, on page 47, if you, if you scan down the page on page 47, um, if you scan down page 47, I want you to, to look down the page and, and I want you to look... I, there may be a name on that page. Is there a name there? If there is, please, I want you to remember that name, okay? And then what I'm going to ask you to do, if you will, I'll have you, if you, I'll have you rise up, and, and both of you, I'll have you look at page 46. I'll have you look at the first line at the top of page 46. I'm going to ask you, please, to, to select a word on that first line, but for today's purposes, I'm going to ask you to select the biggest word, the longest word, the most letters, the most syllables, because that will make this the most impressive. So silently, I want you to select on page 46. That's, uh, we took a name off 47, I'll have you look to the left, and on 46, I'll have you pick on the first line, the biggest word, longest word, most letters, most syllables. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is to remember those, and then please close the book. Perfect, and I'll take it back. Thank you, thank you. And a deck of cards. And this reminds us when patients come to our practices, they come into our practices if from a deck shuffle and they randomly present in our daily schedule. And then we see our patients. So that would you agree these cards are randomized and fully mixed? Okay, very good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, if you will, just to say stop at any time. Very good. I'm going to, the card you stop me will set it down on the table without looking at it. And this represents the patient 
who has come to us to be treated. And this patient comes to us to be treated. And without looking at the card, I pick it up and I feel for the heat signature and I feel for the absorption so that I know it's a black card. And I feel when I feel for the heat on the pips, wow, we picked an ace. Picked an ace of spades, is that correct? Yes, and when patients present to us, all too often what happens, they're coming to us in distress. As if their lives have been torn in half. And it doesn't stop there because it affects their families too. And this pains me to tear a card in half, <laughs> and then to tear it in quarters. What most patients do, unfortunately, is they go home. And this also is similar to what happens if a patient is aggrieved or wronged talking about medical jurisprudence and medical ethics. So instead of seeking care, oftentimes they will just go home and ruminate about what's happened. And legal action oftentimes doesn't occur for a little while. Most states, all states have laws that tell us how soon a legal action must be brought within a certain period of time. And we discussed that in our course on medical jurisprudence. And so what happens, the patient wants to be made whole again. And if we open the box and we look, we see what's happened here, you'll notice all that's left is one small corner of the card that we tore into four parts. Is that correct? And would you please reach in and take out the corner? And would you tell us what that corner is? Yes, it's the corner of the card we tore up. Now, you're holding a can that is hermetically sealed since the beginning of our class. Is that correct? Yes. And I'm going to ask you, if you will now, please, to help us discover if we can make our patient whole again by having you take the can opener and please, with care and safety, I'll have you open that can. and. Have you ever used one of those? <laughs> okay, because today most people have electric can openers. And, wow, you are good. Thank you. That is excellent. And, and not to worry if you have to do it several times. That can opener sometimes doesn't grasp as well as I would like it to. And please be very careful in opening the lid. I don't want you to get cut. Thank you. You are great. Is there something inside the can? Yeah. Um, before you <laughs> remove it, may we look at that can so that everyone can see there is something inside that can. I know it is truly uncanny. <laughs> yes, and in fact, so you all can see that there is something inside that can, and now I'm going to ask you to please remove what is inside that can, and would you please tell us what's there? In fact, is the Ace of Spades reassembled missing one small component. What? And if I may, this is, in fact, and I will ask you to verify, is oh that the, the, oh, I'll have you take it and piece it together, is that the exact torn corner sure is. from that exact <laughs> ace of spades that was selected here in the classroom? And you may, in fact, keep that as a souvenir if you'd like to. <laughs> yes. And, we have two more effects, so I'll ask you to hold your applause until then. More cards, and in fact, because we tore a card from this deck, 
we will use this deck because now we have a full deck of cards and we want to be certain that we're playing with a full deck of cards. Would you agree that these cards are randomly ordered because I shuffled them? So these cards are in a randomized order, and the reason I keep emphasizing that is because as physicians, we rely on randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled studies so that we know that we are practicing good science, evidence-based medicine. And now, what I will do is I'm going to ask, would you please say stop at any time? Very good. Don't let me see the card, and I don't even want you to look at it yet. Okay? You could have had any card out of that deck. That was the card you freely selected. Now, earlier today, I asked someone merely to think of a day and a month. Is that correct? And you did. Before we get to this, we will do one other thing. Page number was randomly thrown out. You turn to that page and you're fine. And on that page, you went down the page and you came to a name from a random, random page. And it reminds us that patients come into us randomly. However, they're not random. They're people. They're human beings. They are our patients. And we want to treat them with the utmost respect, care, and compassion. And so when we see them, we want to remember them and remember their name. And the name that you're spelling over and over in your mind right now is a woman. And the name I'm getting is D-E-B, is Deborah. Is that correct? Yes. And then you selected a word at random from a page number that was thrown out at random that reminds us when we treat patients, we want to do so, again, with compassion, with care, and to do it as deliberately as we possibly can. Is that correct? Thank you. Now, a date was selected totally at random. You selected a date. Only you know what the date is, the month and the day. You have a calendar in front of you. And I'm going to ask, if you will, to remove the rubber band from the calendar. And as you do, what you will know, you may open the calendar. And when you do, you will know that every day in that calendar, from January 1st to December 31st, has a card, suit and value, written randomly beside every day. 365 days. You selected a date, which no one in this room knows, and I have no idea. I'm going to ask you, please, what month did you select? February. You selected the month of February. And you selected a date in February. And what was the date you selected? The third. The third. Now, please do not tell us what card is randomly written in February 3rd. But can you tell us what card is randomly written in February 2nd? The Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds. So if you had selected February 2nd, what would have been the Ace of Diamonds? What if you had selected February 4th? The Six of Clubs. What would have been the Six of Clubs? You did not select either of those days. You selected February 3rd. February 3rd. You randomly selected a card from the deck. Is that correct? Correct. Randomly. I'm just going to take a peek. You randomly selected a card from a shuffled deck. And what we're hoping to achieve and accomplish 
is what we call collegiality and synchronicity. As physicians, our role is to collaborate with each other. And as we noted, if we feel that a patient is presenting with a sign or symptom that is outside our area of expertise, we want to refer to a colleague who we feel has that expertise. We're looking for synchronicity here. You selected a date at random, February 3rd, and the card written at random was the Jack of Diamonds. You selected a card at random from a shuffle deck of cards. Let's see if here today we have the miracle of collegiality. Would you please show us what card you selected at random and please announce it out loud. It was the <laughs> Jack of Diamonds. And that was your card, the Jack of Diamonds.